This is all juniper. Yes, it is. I know it from gin, mm -hmm. love the gin. So what's so special about this plant? It's a native plant. It was one of the first plants to colonise after the Ice Age 10,000 years ago. And unfortunately, our native populations have been in decline for some years now. Um, we're here today assessing the health of the juniper on this site. As you can see, there's quite a few bushes that are in massive decline. Well, yeah, look at that. That sticks out like a sore thumb, doesn't mm -hmm. it? What's the problem, though? There's a disease called Phytophthora ostracedri. It's a fungal-like disease. Say that disease. again. What's it called? Phytophthora ostracedri. <laughs> so you can't really say that after a few gins, can you? No, you can't. <laughs> Phytophthora ostrocedri, I think that's right, is a waterborne fungus like pathogen, a microorganism which can spread disease, and is currently posing a threat to juniper trees across Scotland and the north of England. Wow, look at that, you can really see it clearly then. Yes, you can. That's totally died back there. Yes, it has. Behind it, there's a little bit of green here. Yeah, so there'll be some branches that will be hanging on. There's obviously infection coming in at the base. So it stops the tree getting any sustenance, any yes, nutrients, any moisture? It does, yeah. Eventually, all the needles will drop off and it'll look something like this here. Sorry, mate. You're going to end up with a skeleton. Look at that. To help combat this decline, April and her colleagues at the Forestry Commission have been monitoring British juniper for the last four years. So we'll take this back to the lab? Yes. Yeah. And see what's going on. Back at HQ, they're using samples taken from vulnerable sites to grow the pathogen under quarantine conditions in order to learn more about it. So what we've zoomed into on the screen here is a single sporangia. So that's like a balloon-like structure that wow. contains thousands of spores. That's incredible. So that tiny little pouch there mm -hmm. could spell Armageddon for God knows how many of these little trees out there. Yes, that's right. Although the disease has no cure, April's team are taking measures to prevent the pathogen spreading and investigating any natural resistance in the host trees, which could help them recover from attack. And in the worst case scenario, if this got into Europe, it could devastate all those juniper bushes. Mm -hmm. I mean, that could be the end of London dry gin. It's a bad to think about. <laughs> Especially on a hot day mm -hmm. without a slice of lemon. Exactly. That'd be terrible.